Google Sheets is one of my favorite tools for staying organized throughout the school year and today I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite basic tips so that I can stay organized using this Google app. So I've started my class list in my B column on Google Sheets and I always like to number my students because I usually assign numbers to students so that it's easy for me to alphabetize things and make sure that I'm organized. So one thing that you can do in Google Sheets is you can apply numbers to the first few cells and then if you highlight them and then grab the box in the bottom right hand corner and drag it down it will finish numbering the whole column for you the next thing that i use is auto sizing my cells so the cell that i have for column a it really doesn't need to be that wide because it just has numbers in it and if you double click the line in between a and b it automatically makes it smaller. And you can do this with all of your columns. Sometimes um, I adjust them and make them a little bit bigger. It depends on if it's a Google Sheet that I will print out. The next thing that I love to do is create alternating colored rows. Um, once I make a spreadsheet and it gets large, it can be hard to read. So I will highlight whatever I want to be alternating. And then if you click Format, you can go to Alternating Colors and there are lots of different colors to choose from. I'm going to choose this gold and white format today, and then all of your rows will be alternating for you already, and your headers a nice darker color to make it stand out. If you click the top row, shift, and then the bottom row of your class, and do the same thing, then it will go all the way across forever and ever in the columns. Um, and that's another option too. If you change your mind about colors, you'll have to click remove alternating colors because it does, um, they do really stick when you use the alternating color tool, but it's a lot easier than doing it manually. The last quick tip that I use in Google Sheets all the time is check boxes. If you go to the insert tab at the top, you can click check box. And then same thing, if you click the square in the bottom right, you can drag it down and apply it to all the cells. You can also drag it across columns and it'll apply lots of checkboxes. I use this for things like progress monitoring my students because I can easily check and uncheck them all at once. Hitting the space bar while you're on type up of the checkbox will also check and uncheck the box. The last of my favorite basic Excel tips is creating wrapping text. So for example, if I wanted to put a long title in the cell, it would make for a huge box right there and I don't like the look of that. An easy fix is to go up to the top of your screen. If you do not see this option, click the three dots and it should be in more. And right where you see this arrow, click this one where the arrow is going around and it says wrap. Now if you make this column smaller, this title will automatically go on to two lines. Another thing that I like to do, personal preference, is I like to use this alignment button next to where I wrapped my text, and I like to tell my text to align in the center. I use that across my whole title line. I tell it to align in the middle so that my it'll be right in the middle of the box, align in the center, which is what I adjusted there, and to wrap the text. That way things will fit in that box and it will keep my boxes the same size. So now if I have another long title here, reading homework and reminders, it will automatically keep it centered and um, right at the top of my box. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what other things you'd like to learn more about on Google Sheets.